name is Chris Landreth, and I'm an animator and director from Toronto, Canada. Well, this festival for me is a really big deal because it is the uh, biggest, uh, I mean, obviously the biggest, the oldest, the grandest uh, animation festival uh, around. And getting a film in here, first of all, is a really big thing. Um, if it goes on to get you know people interested in it and rec you know get some recognition, uh, uh, un you know way even more unbelievable. But uh, in addition to just you know showing the film there, it's an extremely social event, and that's what I like about it. So social. Um, sometimes uh, there, there was uh, a time I had mentioned it before where I walked down. Uh, I was walking towards the Banu, and uh, uh, within a space of two or three minutes. Uh, one person stopped me to tell me that my film really sucked, and then the next person stopped me to tell me that my film was the best thing he'd ever seen. Um, all that, that is Annecy right there. It's all in the space of sometimes minutes or seconds. You get uh, completely bizarrely different looks, outlooks, I mean, not just on films, but on the world, on the whole world. Um, because, first of all, because you can't do any of this stuff in live action. The stuff that I want to do or I try to do, it's all um, fantastic. It's fantastical. You can go into places, you can go into people's heads. You can go into people's heads with animation. That is why I like it. I started off uh, doing animation by being an engineer, um, and um, that had nothing to do with animation at all, but I got bored by engineering because I have attention deficit disorder. Um, so I couldn't stay on something that required so much attention, like uh, like uh, en engineering. Uh, the thing with animation is that it has a fantastically short animation span. Um, you have to pay a lot of attention, but only for a very short period of time before moving on to something else that you you know have to pay attention to. And that is what animation is about, both in making animation and so and pretty often in, in watching it. That it uh, requires exercising your attention. Um, in very different way than the real world does. I would say uh, Jan Svankmeier um, was a person who, when I was uh, making the decision about getting out of engineering and getting into animation, I saw, uh, well, a few films of his, but it was one short film of his uh, called Darkness, Light, Darkness, that I saw back in 1990. And um, when I saw that film, a lot of things shifted for me. Uh, uh, things, um, first of all, things about how you perceive uh, the human body and the human soul. Um, he does uh, likenesses of, of bodies in contortion, stuff that you can only do with animation, uh, like nobody I've ever seen. And I completely got something there that you could do with animation when I saw that, and that I could do this as a, as a, as a career. This is my sixth time at, uh, at being at Annecy, and what has happened with uh, with at, with I mean I can think of two you know examples with my short films was when, was having people to discuss very very early ideas like I had an idea for doing the film Ryan and but it was not a very developed idea um, and I was here in two thousand one and I you know. I, was hanging out in front of the Banlu at the terrace, the restaurant there, um, with people. And I was saying, you know, I'm thinking of doing this film uh, uh, that was to become Ryan, and but I was very tentative about it. And uh, you know, the discussion that I had that after I mentioned this and what the film was about, you know, lasted <coughs> about an hour and a half. And it's uh, you know before the you know before that conversation i had only sketch, sketchy ideas for the film and after that conversation i had i was able to write a script and uh you know 2 years later i had this film called ryan and uh um you know i brought it here the, and premiered it here right and i mean that was the big moment it was like a coming around full circle and i mean that's what a big part of being here is about is that you have an interchange of ideas of just small talk sometimes sometimes just completely crazy talk. Um, I was here until, th I mean, I was at a party until four o'clock in the morning with a, a friend of mine, the great animator, John Dilworth. And, you know, you know, after over four bottles of wine, uh, we uh, wrote a manifesto, an animation manifesto.
right? Um, and unfortunately, we forgot it the next day, but it was there. It was a manifesto completely defining the future of animation as we, and as me and John, would do it, you know? So although we completely forgot it the next day, and you know, it was still there. It showed that it could be done. It could be done. I would like to do all of the kinds of animation that I've never done. That's what I want to do. I want to do stop motion. I want to do stop motion animation, and I want to do that with uh, with really crazy sand and paint on glass. That's what I'm going to do. That's the crazy part. Annecy, this is for you. It's number 50, five, zero. People don't stay married that long, okay? So happy birthday to you, Annecy, Animation Festival of the World.